You shouldn't have asked me up here. Anna, we have to talk. I, I just want to... No, I have to talk. You were playing around with our lives. How dare you hide the truth like that when I could have gone to prison for the rest of my I life. I wasn't going and to... You may not care about me, but I thought you were in love with Robert. And so you lied to him? You should have told him that Julian was alive. Julian was in danger. So was I. Look what was happening to me. You should have told him the truth. Yes, and I wanted to, but I thought it would just make things worse. How could anything get worse, Cheryl? How? I don't know. I... I'm sorry. <gasps> Sorry. I helped you, didn't I? I helped you get back with Robert. I've been very good to you. And you just stood there and you let this happen. I didn't let this happen. Olivia made it happen. All right, she did. But you were going to let me take the blame for it. And I can't forgive you for that. Look, I'm not going to Robert on your behalf, if that's why I'm here. Because I won't make that mistake again. I don't want you near him. I don't want you near my daughter either. She thinks you're a friend. You just have to take responsibility for what you did and live with it. But don't come near me or my family again, all right? Don't call. You know, you can change your life. Just to... Oh, man, if it's one of those noisy reporters, I'm going to... Hi! Oh, hi, Kamish. Oh, it's good to see you. You too. Wow, you and Anna had it planned all along, huh? Say what? Well, you come in through the front door to throw those news hounds off scent. Anna sneaks through the back. I just saw her. Oh, thank goodness they've gone. Hi. Hi, love. It's called a... Cool diversion. Right. So how are you? Me? Oh, I'm tired. I was just telling the man, you two still make a great team. Yeah. Where you been? Oh, you don't want to know. Hey, can I get you do something? Not for me, love. I'm on my way to the office. Okay. I'll get some tea later, man. Okay. You wish the one you need. I, uh... Mm. Hope you don't mind. Oh, what, are you checking up on us? I'm used to it. Hardly. How's the old man? Well, he's pretty good. He's at the Attorney General's making a deposition on the mob. That's good. Good. So what about you? you? <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm better. I'm... And you? Cheryl? He's checking up on who? I just saw her. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, she she called me up and asked me over, and so I went, and I wish I hadn't, because I really lost my temper. You've got a right to be angry. Well, I know. Well, yeah, but I just, you know, I shouldn't. I think I hurt her. I think it's the other way around, isn't it? But Duke and I, we talked about this a lot last night, and um, just, you know, we have to get over it. Well, you've got to vent your anger. She has to bear a lot of the blame. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really apologizing for anything I said. It's just that, you know, I'm, she, she's hurting as much as me. It's very generous of you. I just don't think she knew what she was doing, that's all. Yeah. She's got a whole cheering squad going for her in that direction. What? Oh, nothing. Well, what were you saying? Well, I was just saying, you know, I, I, it was good to let off steam. To let her know how I felt. I mean, I've been bottling it up for weeks now. Duke and I, we think we can get over this if we just, you know, talk about it and then let it go. I mean, nobody's saying it's easy. Tell me about it. I don't have to. I mean, it's something you ought to do. I don't know. I just don't think it's going to make a whole lot of difference. At least... At least where she's concerned. You won't know unless you try. Look, I know you're suffering. But I just want to help you. And why don't you let me? You can't help me. 
Look, Julian, the only reason I let you come up here is to say goodbye. I'm not going. Not yet, anyway. I'm going to be here for a few days with Pop. I want to be here if you need me. Need you? Why would I even want you? You destroyed my whole life. I didn't want you to pull my bum to be a lone number, so I got Angel to let me... Uh -huh. Obviously, I was wrong. Julian Jerome, I presume? I don't think we've had the pleasure. We met at the police station. Ah. Oh. I think we exchanged a few glances at the police station. I wouldn't exactly call that a meeting. Tiffany, please. But since it's official, I have a few words I'd like to say to you. Like, why don't you get out of my sister's life and stay out? Tiffany, don't. Oh, all right, let her, let her say what you Oh, want let her say, say what I want. I don't need permission from you to talk about Both anything. Both of you, to... stop I it. have just started with him. Go ahead. I think I will go ahead. I don't understand oh, all this stuff. I can't stand this. Okay. You don't have to do this. Obviously, I'm not needed here. That's not true. She does need you. Right now, I think she has all she needs and deserves. Oh, and when you come to your senses again, I might consider being your sister. Okay. Go. <clears throat> Look, Tiffany was right. I really want to be alone. So why don't you just go, Julian? Hey, everyone else has turned their back on you. I can't leave you. Don't you get it? I have destroyed everything that means anything to me, and all that there is left is to just say goodbye. I don't believe you. I can't be what you want. What do I have to do? Do I have to shout? Do I have to scream? What? You've done all that for weeks. It hasn't worked yet. Honey, don't you get it? No matter what you do, I'm not going to let you go. I can't. Just go. Please. Please. No matter what happens, I love you. Besides me having to look for you. All you have to do is call. I'm not your enemy, Commissioner. Hey, you're nothing to me. Nevertheless, I have a few things to say to you. I'm all ears. First, I want you out of my town and fast. Otherwise, I'm going to lock you up even faster. If that's what you wanted to do, you could have what's stopping you. One reason and one reason only. The libraries. I sort of thought you'd say Cheryl. Anna and Duke have had the stench of the mob in their lives for long enough. Now, I wanted out, and I wanted to stay out. Is that all? You and your whole stinking family are a bunch of users. You used Duke, you used Cheryl. Granted, Duke was naive and idealistic. What drove Cheryl, I'll never know. And right now, I don't really care. You're a hell of a cop, Commissioner, but uh, what gives you the right to be her chief? Don't talk to me about rights, son. She was willingly involved with your filth. The fact that she's still seeing you proves that. Well, I could try to convince you otherwise. Don't bother to try. Okay. Is that all? One more thing. I want to thank you. You've saved me an unnecessary elevator ride.